what's up my people it's joey bags and i got a video for you today uh, we're going to discuss fanatech you know i love discussing fanatech and everybody loves discussing fanatech and the algorithm loves when people discuss fanatech um but it's actually not going to be all doom and gloom uh what i've got running here in the background for you is my last race uh in Le Mans ultimate at spa i'm in the uh, not in the ferrari i'm in the porsche and i did the little online api hackeroo not really hack but you know the workaround so you can see replay so you can watch a replay so right now we're running uh the last replay where i actually came in first and i believe i had a lap time of two minutes and 22 seconds i think no actually two minutes and 21.5 so I think one of my best times in around, or should I say around spa that was not in a set of Corsa using URD's monster GT 500 NSX, but either way, let's go ahead and let's discuss what's happening with Fanatec. So it seems that Fanatec, okay, maybe, maybe not, but I feel they're finally rounding that corner. Um, with the issues they had where they had to fire Thomas Jackermeer, CEO, you know, so he's no longer in charge. He still does own, I believe, 50, 51% of the controlling stock to Fanatec since he is the founder. He is or, or was ousted as the CEO. And the main reason they did that was because whatever financial institutions they're working with to receive capital for the business... I guess they've had some issues recently and they had a, a plan put in place to receive more financing. They had to take certain steps. God, this looks so good. I hope that this comes through in the video for you. God, this is pretty. I may have said whatever I said about the graphics, but damn, this looks really good right now. So they went ahead, took the steps they needed to secure financing. So it seems like through the end of the summer at least to june 30th they have financing in place so it's good to go business as usual you know ordering product producing product i'm sure they don't make it they have a company in china that's probably making it but at least whatever it is that they have to do to get the products done they're in that process it seems they've also decided to kick up their customer service um we're seeing now lots of reports of people mainly reports fanatech uh, forum and the fanatech subreddit where people are actually now getting emails regarding their orders i know shocking five months ago you couldn't even get them to even acknowledge you you know it wasn't until like maybe a month or two ago that you now had to wait a month to get an email but now it seems that they're more regularly answering emails and questions and it seems while they still do have some small issues here and there when it comes to whatever products you know they're shipping or what they may have in stock because i believe if you look on their website all of the csl dds the five newton meters are currently on back order i think until the end of april uh pretty much all the bundles that include it are out i did believe i saw the eight newton meter bundle uh i'm not sure i say eight newton meter bundle but the eight newton meter base i believe that they do have in stock but just the base alone so they're improving in that respect they're reaching out to customers letting them know hey look you know it's taking a little bit longer for your product to get to you but rest assured we're on top of it so we're all so fanatech is pretty much moving in a positive direction when it comes to orders yes there's still people that are stuck in pre-order loops there's people that are still stuck you know where they haven't got any information and where that's there's some there's some that are black friday orders from four or five months ago that they still haven't had fulfilled order it's still saying handoff to warehouse um hopefully they're really working hard on those and hopefully that the consumers though you know the people that bought the products are reaching out to fanatech and not just saying oh i'm gonna be hands off just let them you know sort it out no i hope they're proactively reaching out to fanatech to be like hey look it's been this long can you do something um but it seems that fanatech is being rather responsive on social media and via email um they're taking care of orders 
um they're actually shipping out you you'll see people posting that they got their orders within three or four days which is you know the allotted time if this is the if this is the progress they're doing this is great this is amazing for us um one of my viewers shout out to um dominici el dominici he ordered a xbox compatible universal hub from them and he said he got it within three or four days sent me the picture of it in hand so that's a super super awesome update um at that point if they're continuing forward with this great momentum in taking care of the consumer i'm starting to feel better about where fanatech is as a company i'm starting to feel better with my purchasing decision with that gtdd pro that i got from them and well that i paid for from them they didn't get it from them i paid for it and mclaren gt3 wheel along with the load cell pedal upgrade and the performance pedals cap uh, pedal caps i don't know whatever you want to call them uh so i'm feeling more comfortable with the fact that i did order it and now that they're being more responsive if for some reason for unforeseen reason i do have a problem i feel that you know if i reach out to them we i may actually get you know a resolution so we're this is all positive net positive um i'm slowly backing down on my very aggressive stance of you know fuck fanatech i'm gonna I'm, I'm pretty much gonna stop the whole fuck fanatech um what they did was grimy yes and what they really need to do is they need to send out an apology email to mainly those who were affected by their bullshit from black friday from black friday on everybody that was you know affected by the you know overselling of products the delayed um pre-order uh pre-orders that didn't get sent out or emails where just all that craziness i really feel like the consumers deserve at least at least an apology email you know i think it would be only right i know some of you be like isn't that a little bit too extreme you know first world problems you know blah blah you know all the usual kind of hater bullshit that you know some people say to make you feel bad about having a stance on a subject no if we take a stand and we let them know look this isn't cool we're willing to go to other companies to buy their stuff instead of yours they change their tunes they do what they have to do to fix their issues because they want your money ultimately they want your money and if you're taking a stand and not buying stuff from them or you know airing out the issues that you've had which may deter future purchases from future customers it hurts their pockets and at that point that's the things they actually care about so if they actually care about damn i went a little wide here i kind of wish i had that same dude that um is doing the uh race announcement for oc racing shout out to oc racing your content is beautiful i love it especially the music if i had that dude announcing it'd be awesome but let's get back to the subject so as long as we stick to this and we do what we're supposed to do we handle our business we show that you can't mess with the consumer get your shit straight or we'll spend our money elsewhere and if they want our money they're gonna get their shit straight and it seems like they are doing that whatever has happened they're riding the ship and this is a net positive for all of us so you know big shout out to fanatech for actually taking care of this stuff um in other I guess you can say good news. They did release another product, which I know is surprising. They uh, announced that DD Plus Extreme Wheel, which I'm super salty about because I really would have gotten that instead of what I bought. Um, they have announced a cockpit, a CSL branded cockpit. It looks like a tubular, I'm going to say steel. I'm going to say it's probably tubular mild steel. Um, it's a pretty nice, I guess it's maybe black or anthracite. It's a, a maybe gunmetal. It's a dark color with yellow accents, CSL right on the side. I think it may even say Fanatec someplace. I'll pop in pictures of it as I'm talking about it. It looks awesome. Uh, apparently with this cockpit, you can have two different styles of racing. Uh, in its normal configuration, it's GT style. 
and if you reverse it which i don't know exactly know what they or what they mean by reverse um if you reverse it you can then run it as a cart style in my mind they're saying reverse is you can put a cart sized seat where the pedal tray would be and then the pedals where the regular seat would be to me that's how i see reverse but once again you're going to see this in the pictures so you can go ahead and sort that out it they do it does have about three accessories available one of them the shift amount i'm upset that doesn't come with it <clears throat> it's not bad that it's only 40 dollars, so that's at least a good part but quite honestly mo well a good majority of cockpits tend to bring a shift mount so i feel like this may be um a little lacking on fanatec's part but at least price wise it's not crazy at 40 dollars, that's doable the pricing on the cockpit is $399. Uh, the only other cock carding cockpit that comes to mind quickly. Um, well, actually, no, there's another one. Well, the first one that comes to mind is Next Level Racing. And shout out to Next Level Racing because I do have their Challenger cockpit. That's what I'm currently in. They have a carding one. It's really nice, but I think it's like 600 bucks. I think it's like $599. Honestly, I think that's a bit much. It's expensive. You know, if it was closer to like the maybe three four hundred dollar range i may be a high on the list consideration for like kids you know like my boys you know my two youngest i'd probably be like hmm, you know what that's not too bad maybe i'd get that um the fanatec one at 399 at least it's like oh okay hold on that's a little bit better priced um and it's not a completely dedicated carding cockpit so at least it's like oh we can do dual purpose yes you'll have to go through the whole hassle of you know moving things around but it is what it is the other two accessories that come with it are the seat well that don't come with it but what are available is a seat for 99 dollars. and quite honestly i'm you'll probably see pictures of the seat now it does not look very comfy at 99 dollars, this is one of those where i have a feel, strong feeling it's you get what you pay for and it quite honestly looks like they just sourced out a bunch of race style office chairs from someplace in china and decided to hey but like let me just get the tops i don't need the hydraulics on the bottom you know for you know lift and tilt and all this other stuff i just need the seat and that's it it looks plush but quite honestly i have a feeling that that foam is going to be very thin and not very fluffy and thick so oh there i bumped into that portion in the back oh you know good thing damage is off anyway as you see i've ended up i went from first to uh, one two three four five, sixth place kind of sucks so the cushioning on this seat does not look very comfortable i don't know if i'd want to do long stints in this seat quite honestly anything it looks maybe a little bit thicker than my next level racing challenger seat um and this seat after about an hour or two my tailbone is already killing me so it doesn't look that good but it's only 99 dollars. so you've like i say you kind of get what you pay for and as an option for a cockpit it's not bad because a lot of other companies charge a lot more for the seats that they have available also a lot of those seats tend to be much better quality probably than what this one is i have a strong feeling it's not a very high quality for 99 dollars, but it's a seat that has Fanatec branding that is available. The third accessory that's available for it is a monitor mount, not a triple, but a single monitor mount. Now, this is priced at about 100 to 120 dollars. I'll post the uh, you'll see the picture and I'll probably just grab it from Fanatec's website. So the price will be included. This actually looks really good. It looks like a rather sturdy monitor mount that when attached to the unit is very, very attractive the whole unit even with their you know cheapo seat with the shift mount with the monitor mount the whole package is actually very very attractive and if you start looking at, if you start pricing it out four four forty five so you're looking about 660 or so probably all in before tax and shipping it's not bad um for about that same price and I'll probably pop in the picture. You could order a ASR. I think it's an RS3 chassis. That's I think in like 
the 500 like the low sixes the like very low sixes to very fa high 500 so like kind of like that maybe 580 to 610 range somewhere around there could be a little less um asr they i think that's a yeah asr um they i don't know why everybody pitted here but they did and it allowed me to regain my place um that is a much higher quality um 80 20 i think it's 80 20 uh extruded aluminum powder coated black rig honestly for longevity i would probably recommend that one than the fanatec one but the fanatec one is rather attractive and it does look like it's a rather compact footprint um i did i haven't seen any videos i'm gonna have to check to see if anyone's uploaded anything else or if anybody's actually bought one i did see a youtube short that was posted by someone who i believe is either employed or a contractor for fanatec and they had a quick short on youtube showing it off and quite honestly it did look rather attractive in there for the total price when you sit there and think about it and now that i sit there and think about it, the total price oh i would have a, i'd be hard pressed to recommend it but it does look good um i'll say if if fanatec wanted to send me and i'm not shilling i'm i'm not selling out you know if fanatec does watch this video and or anybody from fanatec watches this video and you guys want to send me one out so that i can hook it up with my gtdd pro i don't mind i'll review it for you and i will be completely honest and unbiased it doesn't matter if you sent it to me i will give you my complete and honest opinion um they do say it's rated for up to a 25 newton meter wheelbase which i believe is the dd1 or the i think it's the dd2 that's up to 20 that's 25 newton meters i'm looking at it and i don't see it totally possible that it may be but i would be a little bit hard pressed now once again, if anybody from Fanatec is watching, if you want to send me a DD2 or even a GT DD Plus Extreme bundle to match with this cockpit. So for review purposes only, I mean, even if you would just want to send it on a loan and I'll send it back to you, I'm more than glad to take it. But I don't know if it I'm looking at it. I don't know really if it's going to be rated for that much. It might be. But I have a hard time believing it, just looking at the materials and looking at how thick things are and how it's constructed. But I could be completely wrong. It's happened in the past. I've been wrong tons of times. Uh, according to my wife, I'm wrong all the time. According to my kids, I'm wrong all the time. So, you know, there's that. But it is an attractive cockpit. The pricing could be a little bit better, especially when you start talking in all the accessories and tax and shipping. <laughs> it's not bad if you kind of want to keep an all fanatec rig if you just want to all fanatec everything well except for like monitor you know if you just want to be fanatec out um fanatec wheelbase fanatec cockpit fanatec shifter fanatec pedals fanatec seat then you can be completely fanatec out in your sim rig you know you've got that option now but it's not bad looking you take a look and you tell me what you think um other than that let's see i am in talks with 3d wrap i will be reviewing uh some small pedal mods for their r5 for the actually for the srp light pedal set that i have and they're gonna send me out some mods um to try out so you'll see that coming on the channel soon um we're in talks for some other items too so after the moza stuff after i review that there may be some fanatec uh upgrades some fanatec mods that may be coming in for my fanatec hardware and with that i'm going to pit the fanatec and the moza upgrades together to see how they fare against each other um so you know how does the fanatec pedal setup feel with these mods as opposed to the uh, moza pedals feel so that's gonna be uh fun i've got some good fun videos uh coming camis i what i was able to reach out and get a hold of camis we were able to come together and i believe there is a set of cp5 pedals that will be here shortly i hope 
um to connect to the fan to the um camus c5 so my videos of the camus c5 on playstation and xbox are a go they are going to be happening uh no more janky work around using uh the resolution and another brand of um another brand of pedals so we've got that happening oh and the replay is over um so that's a bonus and other than that just really stay tuned i have some more content coming for you guys i also have um i believe next week should be moza week so i'll be moving the pxn v12 base off of the sim rig and the r5 will be on here i will be showing off the r5 with actually all of the compatible wheels so it will be the es wheel with the um f1 rim on it it will be the ks wheel that will be i'll show that one off and i'm actually also going to use both this wheel this pxn wheel and the other round pxn wheel since i'm able to connect those directly to my pc to operate them so you're going to see me use four different wheels two from a completely different manufacturer on the moza base so you're going to see a wide range of wheels being used just like i've showed you the other wheels being used on this pxn base you're going to see these pxn wheels used on a moza base so really stay tuned as always don't forget smash that like button like the way you smash that brake that load cell brake pedal to get that car slowed down smash that that like button um hit that notify uh, no yeah hit the sub button smash the like smash the, uh, the sub button all those things i greatly appreciate them and they help work me to the top of the algorithm so that way my videos you know are spread out for others to view and watch and builds the uh, the community and hit that notification bell so that way you know when my videos drop when my live streams go live i've been live streaming a lot recently because i feel it's a little easier than producing these videos um when i sit here and i've got a think about what i'm talking about i'll stammer i'll stutter i'll get lost as you see i'll meander in my thoughts but when it's a live stream it's go 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 and my brain works beautifully under pressure like that so hit that notification bell so that you know when live streams drop and when videos drop and when shorts drop because i just dropped a short the other day other than that for the 400 and i think we're like 426 subs Thank you so much. I'm still, I would like to reach that 500. If we can hit 500 before the end of April, I would be so in great, what you call grateful to you all. You know, it's only 11th, you know, we still have plenty of time. You know, I, honestly, the growth limit is unlimited, but you know, I want to set that goal. If we can hit 500 by the end of April, that's amazing. And if we can hit a thousand, by may or june that'd be even beautiful like i really want the channel to grow growing this channel helps me bring you more content like this you know opinion based on fact with education that's really what i'm trying to break out to you know bring to you guys you know so you guys are amazing awesome for everybody all over the world that watches i thank you so much and until the next time, let's get this set. Peace.